Hi there, this is Alyssa from Unbusy, taking the overwhelm out of introverted mom life. This is episode 111, and today we're talking about how to mentally relax after a busy day. How many times a week do you go to bed with your mind still racing? You can't quite turn off the thoughts, so you lie awake waiting for the churn to go away. By then, you've lost an hour or two of sleep, and then your alarm beeps. Is this scenario familiar? If so, today we're gonna to run through a few hacks that will drastically reduce how much brain churn is going on. In other words, you'll finally be able to relax and enjoy your evenings, not dread tomorrow morning. Sound good? But first, do you need more time for yourself every day? Coming right up. Are you exhausted from spending nap time cleaning up the house? Get instant access to a five-day email challenge that teaches you the basics of getting time to yourself every single day. And five days from now, you'll be relaxing at nap time without a care in the world. What's not to love for an introverted mom? I've put the link in the description below for you. Back to our episode. What not to do? Number one is hit the sack straight off without debriefing. Try this instead. Briefly run through your day to make sure you catch those nagging self-reminders before you hop in bed and they keep you awake. Did you forget something for tomorrow? Leave a to-do undone? Suddenly have a great idea for your kid's birthday party? Give yourself five minutes sometime in the evening, whether that's just before bed or a little earlier in your routine, to jot down all those little reminders because they're good ideas, important things left done, or self-rescues from your brain, so let it help you. And don't do this number two is leave tomorrow's prep work for tomorrow. You know, the I'll get to it later or I'm sure I'll remember in the morning thing. Try this instead. Write down anything you're thinking to be sure you don't forget and set out that purse or library bag or target return ready to go. It's so much less stressful to be able to roll out of bed and throw yourself and the kids in the car if you're behind instead of running around the house trying to figure out what needs to come with you while pre-coffee brain is still in charge, right? So make a habit of PM prepping. What do we need to take with us tomorrow? Then prep the lunches, backpacks, or vehicles accordingly. And what not to do number three is using the evening as flex work time, aka hitting all the chores you didn't get to during the day. Try this instead. Work time was work time, chore time was chore time, and now it's free time. I've earned this. You wouldn't expect your kids to do homework till bedtime, would you? Nor your husband to work straight 12s all week? Then why are you expecting it of yourself? Oh, I'll just take a dinner break and an afternoon coffee break, and then I'll get back to things. After all, my work's not done. Newsflash, of course it isn't done. Do you leave things on your plate at work so you have something to do the next day? Well, yeah. And did you get all the essentials for today done on today? I think so. Then you're good. Just because there are future to-dos waiting for you doesn't mean you need to get up and do them right now. And if you can't accomplish today's essentials by dinner time, then we've got a to-do list problem. You deserve a break, you need a break, and you can't keep going day after day without a break. You're taking one. So let's wrap this up. When after dinner are you going to take five minutes to jot down those reminders? Which evenings do you know you need to prepack something in the car? And what do you commit to do for fun tonight? Because your best life is waiting for you and it needs you to be rested, not frazzled to experience it. So you might as well start practicing now. And if you need time for you too, it's coming right up. Are you exhausted from spending nap time cleaning up the house? Get instant access to a five-day email challenge that teaches you the basics of getting time to yourself every single day. Five days from now, you'll be relaxing at nap time without a care in the world. What's not to love for an introverted mom? I've put the link in the description below. And that's it. Have a wonderful day.